I don't know. Okay, stay home and do math for fun. Here is the question. We have if ax plus by is equal to 3, ax squared plus by squared is equal to 7, and the next one is of course with the third power, we get 16, and then with the fourth power, we get 42. Then, in this case, what's the value for ax to the fifth power plus by to the fifth power? Well, is it possible for us to just look at these numbers and figure out the answer? I don't know. But anyway, as always, please pause the video and try first. Okay, hopefully you did pause the video and try it. And now I will tell you that the answer to this right here is 20. It's very nice, but it's also very weird. Because you can see that all the powers are going up. These numbers are going up. But from here to here, what happened? It actually goes down. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. And I think it's really hard to just look at these numbers and figure out pattern and then say the answer is 20. If you know how to do that, let me know. But I will show you guys how we can work with equation. Here's the deal. If you look at this and that, they are kind of similar. If you multiply this with x, you get that. If you multiply this with y, you get that. That's good, huh? So we have to multiply that carefully though. Let me show you an observation right here, right? So if I take this, which is ax fourth power plus by to the fourth power, if I multiply this with x to the first plus y to the first, right? This right here, of course, you can just multiply it out. Then we get this times this. Let me put that down as ax to the fifth. And then let me do this next, which is plus by to the fifth. That's good. But we still have to do the rest. We have to do this times that, which is plus ax fourth power y. And then the last one is this times that, which is plus bx x to the fourth power. So that's what we have. This is from here. That's good. This is what we're looking for. That's good. Maybe we can do something about this, right? This has y, this has x, and of course we can maybe factor this out and maybe it will work out really well. Let's see. Right here, I will write down x to the fifth plus by to the fifth. Let me factor out xy from this and that. So this is plus xy, and then for this part, it will be x to the third power plus by to the third power, which is very good because we have this right here, this is right here. However, we do not know x plus y, nor we don't know x, y. But the good thing is that we are making a good progress because we can do the similar thing with other equations. And in that case, we can actually solve for x plus y and also x, y. So that's exactly the approach. But have a look first though. If you have the fourth power here, this right here, the power goes down by one. So actually, I will start with this right here and do some multiplication like this, right? So let me write down if we have ax squared plus by squared, and let me multiply this with x plus y. Well, you can just work that out, or you can just look at the pattern. The powers will go up by one first, so we get ax third power plus by to the third power, and you have that factor, which is plus x, y, and then the power will go down by one. You can do the same algebra. I will leave that to you, but we know this right here will be the result. That's nice. Okay, so keep that in mind. And next, we also have to do the other one because x plus one, x, y, we have two unknowns. We have to have another equation. So another equation is going to be from the third power. We use the fourth power, so now it's the third power time, right? Of course. So here we have. Let's put this into the nicer form, of course, because we know this right here is 7. So we have the first equation is 7 times x plus y, which we don't know. And then that's equal to this right here is 16. And then plus... Well, x, y, again, we don't know, so just keep that in red. And then this right here is 3. 
Very nice, huh? Multiply by 3. And then, of course, we can do the same thing. This right here is 16 times x plus y. And uh, that's equal to this right here is 42. Plus x, y, again, we don't know. But lastly, this quantity is 7. Do not multiply out anything. Just treat this as a variable and that as a variable. And then do system equations. And I will tell you guys, if you do that, x plus y is negative 14. And then when you multiply the x and y together, you actually end up with negative 38 like this. And then from all this, we can just go back to our original connection here and then just solve for this right here. So this is 42. Let me just write this down right here for you guys. 42 times x plus y, which we know is negative 14. So just multiply by negative 14. And that's equal to this guy, which is the thing that we're looking for. I'll just put down a question mark because I'm about to run out of space, right? But anyway, plus x, y is negative 38. And then this quantity is 16. So just go ahead and multiply this with 16. Yeah. So in the end, you can see that the question mark, it will be 20. Just solve the system, no, just solve the regular equation on your own. And this right here is it. This question is actually from the 1990 Amy math competition. And 15, right? Question number 15 is actually the last question, so it's actually considered to be the harder one. But I think it's a lot of fun too, so yeah. Let me know if you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys next. Bye. Well, actually, I'm sorry. As always, That's it.